on your mark, get set, ready, let's go. We're back on the beautiful island of Mauritius with its golden beach, friendly people and beautiful sea. Because we still have a lot of things that we want to check off our bucket list. And this time round, we'll be crisscrossing across this island nation all the way from up north to down south. Just one visit to this magnificent island is certainly not enough. Though this visit started off in spectacular fashion. And you want to know why? Check this out. It all started earlier today in grand style. Swanky pickup straight from the aircraft. Warm Mauritian welcome. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the U Lounge. Thank you very much. Thank you. And a cool glass of bubbly. Oh, this is nice. Ah. Cheers. Personalized service is always a great thing. But here at Mauritius, you can make it all about you. This is the U Lounge. The great part about it is that they'll meet you right at the gate of the aircraft pick you up in a car and have you drop right over here so you don't have to go anywhere else. No lines, no queues. You can come and relax here and all your immigration and custom formalities will be sorted out. Can I have your passport please? Thank you. Thank you. The great part is, you don't have to wait at the bell to get your luggage. Your luggage is picked up and delivered to you outside. So by the time you leave, it's all set. All that was left for us to do was kick back and enjoy the plush surroundings. Till it was time to head out to check off our bucket list, more riches. Whenever you get to a new place, the first thing that you have to do is meet the locals. And that's what we are here to do. Out in this beautiful ocean, we're going to meet these locals who have been around for thousands of years right here out at sea. And remember when you see them, for these guys, the smiling faces, it's always happy hour. Chilling with the friendliest residents of the ocean. Wake up early, skip the shower, and get ready to dunk into the Indian Ocean because this is an experience you'll not want to miss. Almost all resorts in Mauritius organize an early morning swim with the dolphins. These playfully curious mammals love to swim alongside boats because we're betting that they're just as curious about us as we are about them. How cool was that? One more thing of our bucket list, Mauritius! Swimming with the dolphins. There is nothing quite like it in the world. These gigantic creatures right next to you. So if you come here, be patient and you will get to see them really close. Absolutely incredible. That is one thing that I wanted to take off my bucket list for a long, long time. Woohoo! Mauritius! Next up, finding a resort of choice. Picking a place to stay in Mauritius completely depends on the part of the island you want to explore. We picked Rio Creole, located in the south of the island. Of course, for us, the food options on offer is what sealed the deal. Hello. Hi. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So, Thank you. for us, just for one minute, can you just wear this band? Why do we need a band? Our all-inclusive band, okay. so that you can have a dinner, breakfast, everything in our restaurant and in the hotel. Okay. You don't have to pay anything. What? Oh, really? Yeah. Like, as much as we like? Yeah. As many times as we like? Yeah. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Yeah. Thing. With this band? Yeah. That is fantastic. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you. Just the band, huh? Yeah. Okay. What a Show cool the band. Idea, man. Show what the band. What a band. cool idea. What a cool idea. I got the band. I got the band. Armed with the golden band, we followed our keen sense of smell straight to where our tummies led us. Welcome to the fine dining restaurant called Bangalore that serves incredible Indian food. And this treat is on me, my friend. I'm paying for this, so enjoy your meal. Really? Yeah. Now I'm worried because the last time, I ended up paying for it. <laughs> Don't worry. It's all with the band. There is another restaurant called uh, Coral that serves pan-Asian cuisine. 
That too is with the band. There are two full buffets and one part buffet. And you can enjoy whatever you like. But if you're coming to the Bangalore or to the Coral, make sure you have a reservation because this is very exclusive. <laughs> eat some more, eat some more. Come if on. It's exclusive, what are you doing here? Yeah, it's a good question. If you let me in now, so hurry up and eat. After a big meal like that, we decided to check out the pool and get a little active. Siesta is an activity, right? Ooh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Open your eyes and say thank you to me. What have you done now? Just open your eyes, look left and say thank you to me. I don't want to open my eyes, you must have done something wrong. Trust me, open your eyes, open your eyes. Ta-da! Happy! Okay, are you sure this is enough for us? Yes, and if it's not, we can always get some more. I don't know why you have to go over the top every time. Why couldn't you just got one, one drink, you can always go back for another drink. Yeah, but what if we go back and the bar is shut? My friend, the bar shuts at seven. <laughs> yeah, but it's not much time, it's almost sunset. It's gonna shut very soon, I'll go get more. Okay, you obviously got it wrong. Seven in the morning. <laughs> it's open all night and you can continue to drink whatever you like. And when you have all night, you can afford to take it slow. Hey, Mayor, hey, slow down, man. Next on our bucket list, exploring the tropical wilds of Mauritius. Taking a break from the ocean and the food, we cart our way into Frederica Nature Reserve in Domaine de Belombre. This is us following nature's call. Hey, not that kind of nature's call. Oi! This kind. If you want to get close to nature, dolphins is not the only thing that you can do in Mauritius. It's incredible to come here to the Domaine du Ballon, part of which is the Frederica Nature Reserve, which is where we're sitting right now. And the reason why we're sitting so high up over here, because around us is one of the rarest birds in the world, it's the Mauritian kestrel. There were only four at one point and now they've been pulled back from the brink to almost 400, thanks to efforts like this one. Captive breeding and intense management of the wild population has made this conservation effort a success story. With support from the national carrier Air Mauritius, the Mauritian kestrel is making a comeback. A long time ago, in the early 1800s, this was a sugarcane plantation. They grew lots and lots of sugarcane. Around the end of the 20th century, they shut all that down and they decided to go into conservation. Lots of hills around here and they'll all have these viewpoints. You get as high as you can and you can get fabulous views of where the sky meets the earth and the sky meets the ocean. And a whole range of greenery. I mean, how many shades of green are there right now that you can count? All I need is a cocktail. You think you can run down and get me a cocktail? I'll hold up the photo. No, I'm busy. I've climbed a ladder. I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint the sky and the earth. Look, look at that beautiful blue I'm bringing out. Oh, God. He's got delusions about being God again. Ah. Time to head back to our ride and go deeper into the wilds of Mauritius. There. Ebony tree. Oh, this, this is it? Yeah, this is the ebony. All right, let's check it out. This is the incredible ebony tree. Oh, and by the way, this young man is Damien. He's been showing us around at the Frederica Nature Reserve. Hey, be nice. Just because trees have feelings, so does Damien. This is the incredible ebony tree and this is the incredible Damien. So, so the, the ebony Damien now, I know that it's really hardwood. So it's a really very rare plant hmm. that have been used for constriction 
for a long time. Right. Been used uh, in pianos, the black part of the piano. This is an incredible hardwood, very, very rare and very difficult to find. But the one tree that we're really here to see is... All right, so there it is. Ooh. The drunk dragon blood. The really special part about this tree, and this is what I've heard, I don't know, Damien, tell me if I'm right. Uh, the sap of this tree is red like blood. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. blood red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the reserve, it's the only one that we have. Right. Never heard of any others in Mauritius, so... Wow. Oh, come on, old man, let me give you a hug. Oh. Yeah, that's right, I'm a tree hugger, what do you know? Oh, there's a cut over here on the ground, look. Yeah, it's bleeding. Look at the color of that sap, an incredible red color. Trees have feelings too, remember. Don't cut trees. Every time you cut a tree, plant one. Ah! And to stop Mayur from coming me, Damien distracts us with a quick hike to a waterfall. The best part about this waterfall, it's a perennial, it flows all year long. The rain gets caught in the ground and in the forest up there in the national park and then slowly makes its way out as water and becomes this beautiful stream. And no matter what time of the year you're in, whether it's the dry season or the wet season, this waterfall is always flowing. That's a great example of taking care of your environment to make sure that you always have fresh water and other such beautiful things. Ah, stop it! <laughs>